or a few days ago I received my low carbon pure air home with heater this is the positive pressure ventilation system that I'll be installing on in my loft it comes with five years manufacturer's free filter well, up to five years maintenance free filter okay NT vibration and all that stuff you can see on there now um, this way it looks like and of course it will have a little pipe going in to the uh, upstairs lobby and from there it will spread around the house to keep the air flowing going constantly and that should stop condensation building up on the walls and mold etc etc so yeah um first thing to do just going to open this up on the lobby here it's a bit messy but and we'll have a look to see what it looks like inside all right so once again it's not a very heavy product quite very light it comes in a box like this and as you can see this is the bit that goes into the ceiling i have to make a hole for this and that's the unit itself i was expecting green color it happens to be in black which is fine and it's got the power cords here and luckily for me i have a where's the end of this now oh there it is oh it just comes off completely okay that's fine um so this will go in there and this is the filters and this is the little piping or whatever you want to call it that goes into this bit here and then you'll connect up together into the loft there's some what do you get on here so you've got some buttons there to press modes and stuff we'll sort this out later and it, as I said it's a very light product it does have some legs on here now I'm going to get installed but I can't be installing this while holding the phone to record this for you guys so I'll just show you afterwards what it looks like and what I've done but you'll be in my ceiling I've got to make some holes you've got to be careful where you're making the holes and you've got to work out from both sides they fit in perfectly but um, yeah so um, I'll be doing that later maybe show you a few clips if I can but otherwise when it's all installed I'll show you how it works so with the unboxing you'd have noticed there's four legs they'll connect to this unit and then also you've got the instruction which is very vague uh, what I was really looking for is how do you connect the power to this luckily for me in my loft I have got a socket there and I'll be literally connecting this to it so you will need a plug to put on there and with it you will have to use this on here to connect this up so this will power up the machine here and also this is the heater that will heat the room up instead of getting cold airs into the room which will make the house cooler which some people mentioned that it might do in the cold days because we don't like cold home here so I've had to have with the extra bit of cash got the one with the heater on as well so they'll get a flow they'll have a flow of warm air coming to the room circulating stopping the condensation now I'm gonna get Okay, this is my loft space and as you can see um, there's not much space here to work but my daughter is crying downstairs she wants to come up in the loft but anyways what I was trying to show you here is what you've got there is I've got that little hatch there and that's the where the corridor sort of goes uh, there's a light about there so I'm going to, I'm going to cut a square out of this because it's the floorboard that I put up there myself just going to cut this uh, square out here so that can fit inside and then do a circle from underneath afterwards finding the center first but my main thing is the joist which way does the joist goes and that's the bit they need to be careful of but I've just noticed the joint there so the joists are going this way as far as I can tell I'm going to double check with the screws that I put on to make sure they're heading the right direction if I put it in the wrong place that's going to be worrying so and I hope there's no electric wires as well. You've got to make sure underneath it because there are some wires going up that way. Um, just careful of those. And then we'll go from there. Now I'm going to do the cutting bit to put that inside it. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So I made four holes. I'm doing a square instead of a round circle because this part just needs to be um, enough for the whole thing to go inside. So I'm just doing a square so I can work underneath it. So I've done four holes where I'm going to 
cut the piece off now. You can see that I've cut the uh, squares out and uh, there's a lot of insulation of course that I need to get rid of, get the access to the ceiling itself from underneath where the plasterboard would be and then I'll just cut the plasterboard out in a circle, put this piece on and that should do the job. All right, you've got to accept the, or expect the unexpected. So I was so lucky when I cut this, it was a completely ugly fluke. But there's a joist there that's longer than the joist on the side there, which is interesting. Okay, you can just about see it, there's two joists there almost. And then not just there, you've got wires there, which I would have cut through if I went too deep. And there's another joist right there. So for some strange reason, I managed to get this straight in between the two joists without realizing it so you've got to be very careful and expect the unexpected as I said but I think I should be more prepared to be honest with you to make sure it doesn't you know um, I could have cut that right where the other joist is then that would have been a hell but you know luckily for me it worked out just right so this is the side that's going to be um, for at the top so it's going to go like that from this side but you know those two little four little screws there you see they need to be cleared and he has to go straight down to the uh, um, so the ceiling has to be seen from the ceiling so you can stick those pins will go into there nicely against the ceiling and let the airflow come out that way um, so I need to clear this somehow and the only way I could think of doing this only way I could do it is use a bin to see if the bin would fit right in there which it looks like it does as you can see it just cover clears it so that's perfect fitting and I'll be using that to cut the hole in there so you've got to find something whatever you can use to get the job done and that's the best thing I have to make a circle to cut the hole okay so the quickest way I can do the hole is to cut it with something I can't get the jigsaw on there so I have to make do with my trusty handsaw there that's got a little point on it show you that there you go so the easiest but another way to do it is just to make loads of holes all the way around makes it easy to connect it all up so I'll be just using my drill quite simple keep it to the edge make sure you don't go right in the wrong place um, you've got to go on the edge and then do it through all you got to remember is it's going to be a lot of dust at the bottom. As you can see, the Hoover is going downstairs because I made a lot of mess downstairs. So the next part is to use the handheld saw to cut it. But what we're going to do, we're going to put a box underneath it so all the dirt just goes on the box. And that's the easiest way to do it. We're just going to like put a box underneath and cut from the top and making sure there's a stool enough, tall enough to hold the box up against the ceiling. All right, just all I'm doing now is just actually cutting it through while there's a box underneath it. It's almost getting there so that we um, we've got this on there now as you can see the four flaps come open and you literally screw from other side and that holds the um, this extractor bit on here and the air will go through there diffuse those there and you'll diffuse the air wherever you want it you do get these if you want to change the direction of it you can put it inside and you can change the direction of wherever there's opening yeah, that's the way it'll go but I'm going to leave it open to all sides and that's how it's going to work. Alright, I've made it now. I was going to put it on the legs. But I've decided to put a hook up onto there. So it's quite simply just turning this through. And getting high as I can. I'm going to hang it with a rope. And let's see how that looks. If that doesn't work. Then we'll put it back onto the leg. And maybe put it inside over there. But till then we'll see how it works. And then we can organise it a bit To get better. these in there. I put the foam there first, but I was trying to get on top of the foam maybe. I'm not sure where it's supposed to go, but I had to use a screwdriver to push it in like that to get in there. Same thing applies on this side as well. I've got the foam there, 
but I've got to use the screwdriver to push it in maybe but there's no sort of a good place to hold it I think you just plug in but it's not the legs do move you can see there the legs will move so you've got to somehow straighten the um, put them upright and screw it down and they should hold it where the legs are but I'm going to hang my one as I said so let's see how that goes the last bit of the job is the putting this duct onto there and that's the hardest bit I found because I just can't get in there every time I get in there it just keeps coming off and I know people might say it's strange but that was the hardest part so far not cutting of the ceiling or anything like that he's trying to get that on there I uh, wish I could show you because I'm just doing myself a bit difficult but yeah you need two people maybe to just do this bit you know I'll keep trying and see if I can get that in there right, I've got it all connected up I had to find a 3 amp fuse which is important to put on not 13 amp to so make sure you um, look at that first the plug has been put on to the power supply it's all turned on uh, went through the instruction a bit which is quite interesting to see I'm mean, gonna have to go through the full process here just to make sure all is set up correctly and that's the important bit, page 11 on this device so um, so far I don't know if you can hear the noise I'm going to put it close to the motor as possible let's see if you can hear anything at all well that's the noise they make it's a little humming noise and I don't think you should be able to hear from downstairs at all. All right, from this side, as you can see, it's been put on. I can hear my boiler, the combi boiler, more than the air coming through here, which is a good sign, I suppose. And if you look at the cobweb there, and I must say it's not purposely done, but there you go. You can see it's blowing air from that direction where the a hole is, straight into it says it's a constant air coming through now I'm gonna just put my hand on there to see what sort of it's slightly cooler air so I don't know if I've set the temperature right so that's the one thing you've got to be careful of you've got to make sure you've read the instruction and get the temperatures right but I can feel it the cobweb moving that means a good indication the air is coming through perfectly fine and looking from that angle there as you can see that's where the hole is the diffuser is there which spreads the air on equally from all direction and hopefully this will make a big difference to the mold that we're getting and I'll just quickly show you what it looks from underneath I had to go in the area that I was very lucky my hole that I made accidentally if I may say so it was right between the two joists and the joist was just the right size to put that on so you've got to be careful if you can see your joist which makes it so much easier because I covered it up I couldn't see it so that helped so it's all connected up, I've hanged it up on the thingy, I didn't connect the bottom bit up at all, I just left it there so it just stays in one place, it doesn't move around too much. The tricky bit was putting this on here, with uh, basically two hands still makes it difficult, and then I put it on there. So last bit to do, I'm going to tidy up a bit here and put the insulation back on, and that's it basically. So I don't know if, any, if you've got any other questions, do let me know, if I've done anything wrong, do let me know, but either way, where the picture shows... This bit sticking out so nicely it seems like it doesn't stick up that nicely as I would like it but I don't know why I can't really get it I thought there would be some sort of uh, metal frame inside it to hold it up but it's not and this is how it looks after you put it on so thank you very much for watching hopefully this will help somebody else and I will put a comment in um, I'm gonna run it for at least a month to see if it does help my house in any way with condensation build up and also to see if he stops the mold growing on the walls uh, in certain walls it does a lot more because exterior wall um, so yeah so there you go thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll bring some more stuff to you guys to show uh, for now this is like a DIY that I had to do myself and any comments welcome any subscribers of course welcome thank you very much take care bye